Hey everyone, <clears throat> so uh, this is going to be a demonstration on mixing RBD and Vellum solver, or mixing RBD and cloth objects together. Um, here we go. So I'm just in my geo container here, and we need two objects. We're going to do a sphere, which is going to fall onto a piece, piece of cloth. Uh, so let's go make a grid. Just add some segments to that. The sphere is fine where it is. Um, we'll go ahead and transform that up just so it's not on the um, right on the ground. Give it some room. That works for me. And then we're going to do an RBD fracture. fracture here and you'll see we get our fractured geometry um, if you if you want to see what it looks like um, without simulating it we can use this exploded view um, and that'll let, that'll let you look at like how it's being fractured if you want to add more detail uh, I'm gonna keep this relatively simple for this demonstration um, but that's how you can check your geometry if you want to um, so next up we need a connectivity and what this does is it basically gives an attribute to each one of these pieces um, we'll just call it stuff like so and then next up we're going to use a vellum constraint here and this vellum constraint needs to be set to shape match, which is super important. And we're gonna run this in here. And this should be good for the RBD side. So let's go ahead and hit the vellum side. Um, so we've got this grid here. This is probably a bit big, honestly. So let's go, let's just change this size down a bit. bit bigger than that uh, right there good all right so this needs to go into a vellum constraint uh, we'll use a cloth help that set that up um, we're gonna need some pins on this to to hold it uh, in place in space so we're gonna do that with a group here's a group we'll set that to points go into selection grab some of these edges here um, you know what? we'll even put some in here just to make it kind of interesting we'll say that there's our group for our vellum and uh, let's go ahead and make a vellum solver all right so for the solver we're not going to hook it directly into our vellum here um, what we need to do to get these to be combined um, is do something called packing, uh, which is something we haven't really talked about yet. So if I drop down a vellum pack, what this is going to do, it's going to take the geometry uh, stream and the constraint stream and pack it together. And when we pack this stuff together, we can share this data um, with these two things with each other and then run them into the solver as one piece um, so we're gonna go ahead and pack this other side too as well and now that these are packed I can go ahead and merge them and what that do is what that's gonna do is merge those geometry streams together like so and then we have to use a vellum unpack So now those geometry streams that we were talking about and the constraint streams are now together. Um, and then we can put those into our solver. And we should get something pretty cool. We'll see. And we got nothing. So, well, it, it did eventually catch up. So I didn't set our pin, uh, our pin groups here or our, our pin constraints. So 
under the cloth constraint we'll just go down find it There we go, pen to animation. We have those pen points that we made here um, before. So now this, those should kind of catch the, the cloth now. We'll see. There we go. And then there's our RBD. So pretty quick and fast and easy setup to mix those two things together. Um, it's pretty much endless what you could do with this. Um, once you kind of understand how these streams flow um, going into packs and unpacks you can pretty much add any type of object that you want in here um, and get some pretty cool results so this cloth is a little bit low res right now um, just for the sake of simulation so let's go ahead and just get this to be a little nicer and i'm going to add on our cloth i'm going to set the bend for the stretch constraint here, I'm going to set the stiffness to be a bit higher because uh, this will probably deform a lot because this has got quite a bit of mass. So let's see what we get. I'll turn this off, our wireframe, and play. Uh, so that's the basics of mixing uh, Velm and RBD together. Uh, pretty fun technique. Um, you could, it's like I said, it's endless what you could do with this. Um, yeah. Thanks everyone. So just a, a quick add-on to that lesson. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this. You probably did, and we're like, "What's going on?" Um, when I changed the uh, the grid here, when I upped the segments, um, I lost my pen group. So all you have to do to fix this is just go back to your group, clear it, and then just make a new pen group. And then that what that'll fix your the problem. Um, I didn't really think it was a problem because it looked cool, but you guys might be confused. So now we were going to see. Bloop. And it should spring way up. There we go. So, so just wanted to add that on there just so you guys didn't get confused. Thanks, everyone.